Hello everyone, this is Jack from Ecstatic. Um, today, or actually tonight, I would like to tell you a few things about, um, about Stream Deck and Reaper. And Stream Deck is a device which became very popular in the recent months or, or years uh, for all sorts of uh, streaming activity. Uh, but it also is a great controller for any software actually. Today I'm going to tell you how you can actually set it up with a third-party software. The company that makes it is Elgato. So not Elgato software but uh, some other software called BitFocus Companion. Um, BitFocus Companion allows you to set up Stream Deck in a slightly different way. So the setup of, of all the buttons is not through dedicated application. It actually is being managed through a web interface, which maybe doesn't sound appealing at first, but when you look at it, at the way it is designed, it turns out to be actually quite great. So I, I would, yeah, I'm, I'm actually recommending it over the factory Elgato software uh, for Stream Deck. And let me show you how you actually can set it up. So first thing, you can just Google BitFocus Companion and you will go to the website and you should download the software and it's available for Mac and Windows. You need to create a free account for that, but that's okay. I did this and I'm okay. No one is sending me any unwanted spam or anything, so they seem to be okay. Then after you install it, this will be the BitFocus Companion helper app. And then I'll, I'll launch GUI, graphic user interface. By searching, you can type in Reaper here and you can add Reaper integration, which I've already done. And then you, in the settings of Reaper configuration, you set up two ports. Later in Reaper application, you need to set up OSC control surface integration. I'm going to show you just now how to do that. In the Reaper preferences you just need to go all the way to the bottom and the second from the bottom is Control OSC Web and you just you add OSC Open Sound Control. I will show you how it is uh, configured. So OSC Open Sound Control this is where you type in the name. This is, can be any name but you know I just put it BitFocus Companion so I can easily see. The important thing is to choose configure device IP plus local port and this local IP will be just you know whatever IP you have in your local network so don't worry about that and there is actually no way to change that uh, this IP device IP you can actually change it and it is this one is important this actually needs to match this IP address uh, so I'll just move it to the side and you will see that I have two ports one is device port the other is local listen port when we switch back to Reaper configuration and BitFocus companion you will see that I use the same two ports here so this is crucial for the integration to work then let's say we uh, we want to create a shortcut on uh, on our Stream Deck to insert the plugin let's make it Waves audio track mono. Uh, by default, plugins do not have the command ID, and in order to create a command ID, you need to choose create shortcut, and then you just press cancel. But that's okay. After pressing cancel, actually, command ID is assigned to that specific plugin. Then we open up the actions window, look for audio track mono. Yeah, that, that was the one. The command ID is actually very long string of random characters copy selected action command id go to beat focus companion button stub i have an empty space here available so i will set a regular button and for this button i will choose reaper custom action you type in command id assign the name you can make it like this so it fits in you know better inside the the button you can change the color of the background you can change the font color and and that's pretty much it i mean the the button is ready to go and let's say i want to insert waves audio track on these four channels i will select them and i will press the button on my stream deck and here we go there it is there is the four instances of waves audio track 
and you will see the plugin has been inserted. This is how it works. I hope you liked the video and I hope you will find it useful. I recommend using Stream Deck with BitFocus Companion because it's easier to set up than the factory Elgato software, which is actually the most user-friendly when it comes to assigning uh, command IDs, colors, backgrounds, etc. If you want to change background color on, on a button in the factory Elgato in the current version of Elgato software, maybe they will change it at some point. You actually need to import a graphic file as a, um, as a background for, for that button. And with BitFocus Companion, there's actually no graphic files. You just choose text, uh, color and background color. This is my um, Elgato Stream Deck Excel, actually, because I have two. So I have uh, two sitting one next to another. Easy to use, easy to switch between uh, pages. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's really, really fast to set up with BitFocus Companion. I hope you like it. Uh, Stream Deck and BitFocus Companion have been a big improvement in, in the speed of my work. So I think it can be useful for many people. I, maybe it will be useful for you. And let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and useful. See you later and until the next video. Take care. Bye.